My name is uh, Thomas Peters. I'm uh, Belgian. I'm an assistant professor at the Erasmus School of Economics uh, in Applied Industrial Organization. My life motto in Dutch is Blijf benieuwd, which translates to stay curious. As a child, I always wanted to become a politician, actually. So my dream was to be the Prime Minister of Belgium. So I was a member of a student fraternity at some point. I did a lot of voluntary work. I organized some concerts when I was a student. So my path to becoming a researcher, like I said, it was a coincidental choice for me at some point. But when I made that choice, I wanted to excel in it. And that can only be done by working really, really hard. If you want to become a researcher, you have to study really hard. And especially in the beginning, in the first few years, I managed to study things which I thought were too difficult for me. <laughs> the main topics of my research are the economics of professional sports and the economics of how people matter for organizations. My paper about tourism in the 2010 World Cup was primarily motivated, I think, because of a moral feeling about how FIFA dealt with these developing countries. We felt that we needed to bring this story in a scientific way, namely uh, that FIFA does not invest what it should in the development of the countries where its tournaments are held. The reason that these developing countries start to host more and more of these events I think is twofold. First, um, being developing means that they're developing along. So they're not as poor as they used to be, which means that it's now technically feasible for many of them to engage in these types of events. The second reason is that in many of these countries, and think China, think Russia, the government has a bit of a bad reputation and feels that these tournaments can help polish the reputation of the country or at least of the regime, a motivation which is absent in many of the developed countries or Western democracies, for example. I think organizing major tournaments in developing countries is not a smart idea from an economic perspective because most of these countries will actually lose money by organizing this event. If you talk about the economic benefit, that is probably negative because the organization of these tournaments diverts money away from the needs like education, healthcare of ordinary people and directs it towards, in my opinion, wasteful investment in stadiums which nobody needs. If you think about the benefits, people always cite two main benefits and one is this increased spending on tourism and the second one is um, this idea that you're more open to trade and that you will attract more investments and so on. There is some evidence that there is, are very modest uh, gains to be made there from these tournaments. The problem is that there's one big, big cost factor, which is the building of 10 stadiums of 40,000 plus seats, and nobody needs them in these countries. I think to make such an event uh, successful in terms of tourism for a developing country, what you need is two things. The first thing is that you need a country which has room for tourism, so where tourism is in the end, in the long run, a viable industry, and in that sense South Africa is definitely a good example. And a country where that tourism is also still under development, so where it can still grow. In that sense, for example, the London Olympics are not a good example because their tourism was already, let's say, fully developed. The second condition is that the country needs to be at least somewhat developed enough in terms of rule of law, safety and economic terms to make it so that tourism is, in the end, able to sustain after the event is gone. This idea that uh, it would be better to organize the Olympics, let's say in a permanent Olympic village, which would then be built somewhere on the globe and everybody would contribute, it sounds great and in economic terms it's probably an efficient solution. But as with many things in life, efficiency is not the primary goal of policymakers. And in this case, everybody involved, the regimes that do organize these events, the people that give away the right to organize these events, and to some extent, the building uh, lobby and, and everybody who's behind this kind of industry are, have all incentives not to want this thing to happen. 
My name is uh, Thomas Peters and my main message to the student is stay curious, keep asking questions and especially if people don't like your questions, you're probably asking the right ones.